Hello and welcome back to another video. Today's video we are doing the Make No Mistake Cast Challenge and I found it on the internet. I will link it in the description down below where I found it and pretty much the rules are that once you let go or make a, or press an item you can't change it. So for this person in particular once I clicked those eyes those were the eyes I had to go with. Same with the eyebrows and the hair and it was quite a difficult challenge because I have the tendency to change and try out every single set of eyes that I think is going to work and I never really go with my first option. So I tried here to really stick to the rules and I never did change an item once I had changed it. So I used eyebrows I would never ordinarily use and eyes I would never ordinarily use. And for the challenge, once I had changed a feature and I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, my idea of how the entire face was going to work would have to change and I would try and make her look a little bit more like the feature that I previously changed looked. So I'm choosing the clothing now and I did forget a little bit when I was doing the clothing that I was making this challenge and I couldn't go and change any of the features. So during the challenge it was quite difficult to just leave her alone when I wanted her to be perfect and I learned a lot through doing this challenge because it made me realise that I think she did, she did turn out looking really really pretty and really good and she looks good in all of the outfits I chose for her as well and it was a bit of an, a nice thing to sort of realise how good she does look despite the fact that I didn't get to mould her into what I thought would look really good she has her own unique look that didn't get challenged and changed by me very much and here I am just putting in the clothing now to turn this and make a little bit of a, a spin here I ended up deciding that I would do the same challenge with the house build and like normal I did find the house builds for the challenge a lot easier than Cass which isn't uncommon I often find that a house build is easier than creating a sim in case. So I made it so that for the same rules, once I added something or changed something, I couldn't go and change the I couldn't change the room size once I laid them down. I couldn't change the roofing size once I laid them down. That was just the way the house was gonna have to be. And I did make a couple of errors during this house build that I wasn't the happiest about. Um, for me, the roofing was the hardest part. I had to make sure the roof was put on exactly as I wanted it to be. And I did find that quite hard. So I believe I stuck to the rules that I couldn't... I believe I stuck to the rules that I couldn't change the height of the roof once it was placed down. Here I am putting in another roof I'm not the biggest oh, I have a lot of trouble with roofing I don't think it's anything to do with the roofs I think it's a lack of a skill by me when it comes to roofing but I did try my best here's where I made a bit of a, a faux pas and ended up resulting in me having to improvise and I think I came up with a pretty good solution I put in an identical one on the other side it didn't break the rules in any way um but it was a little bit a little bit risky I could have brought it to the wrong height or done anything like that but it ended up looking okay and I liked the way it turned out so I'm just thinking about wallpaper at the moment can I just say that I thought it would be an interesting challenge as well to kind of have a sim where you couldn't make any mistakes so if I made her take a shower and go to the toilet and do the radio I couldn't x out of it if something popped up like say for instance she was doing music I couldn't x it and make her stop doing music if say a fire started or anything like that would have to be automatic or if she needed to go to work I thought it would be a cute little uh, mini challenge I could do. So if you do think that would be a nice challenge, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. And I really hope you are enjoying this build. If you are, 
feel free to you know hit the like button and if you want to see more by me press um feel free to subscribe so I've been trying to think of a couple more challenges. I definitely use one website to sort of come up with more and more challenges. I put that little flower bed underneath the window to try and cover up for the fact that the window isn't in the right place compared to all the other rooms. I don't know if it worked, but it's not normally something I notice that well anyway, so I don't think it will impact the house very much. If you are wanting the house, I will be putting it up on the gallery so you can download it yourself and refurnish it make it look a little tiny bit nicer in the way you want it the way you kind of want it to look so I'm just adding in the the bar the toilet room that's going to be in there I decided to add it on as a little add-on I thought it would look nice you know it's not a perfect house it can't be I did it all I did it all without being able to change anything I'd put into the house. So it does end up very different to any other build I've done. For instance, the kitchen is too tiny to actually fit counters in. It's pretty much just got a single counter, an oven and a fridge. So I put a little bit of work on the outside to kind of, to kind of compensate for what was lacking within the house itself. Um, I'm just working away at it quite slowly. I do end up liking the way it turns out, even if it does look quite messy and very unconventional for a house. I would normally not build it to look like this, but I'm trying to cover up for a little bit and add in some plants and flowers around the outside. Now, like always, I kept this challenge to a starter home. I don't know why I like to add extra challenges on on top of things I just really like doing starter homes the most so we're just about to wallpaper I believe and again I had to do it with the starter home and my amount of money which I'm doing very well for I've on a very cheap property so it doesn't cost too much to to furnish um, or and I didn't spend very, very much on walls, which are extremely priced considering what they are. So my sim is um, I remember now that I chose the traits for my sim to be uh, part of the knowledge one. As well as that, she is a vegetarian, good, and squeamish. So I thought that they would be a little bit interesting. So we're just getting into lights at the moment. I mean, if I did decide to kind of play with the sim, which I mean, I'm not really sure I will. Sometimes I think it's good to just have a little bit of fun with the challenge and create a sim. Even though I do think playing with her would be a little bit more of a challenge if I couldn't X on anything that I've made the mistake of. It would be especially challenging for things that don't really have set times. Uh, for instance, practicing a musical instrument. You wouldn't really click practice writing or practice a musical instrument. You would click on things that she did for a set period of time, not for something... That was open-ended and you're supposed to hit X on when you're kind of tired of her doing it. So I do think as a challenge it would be quite difficult to spend a long time with a sim not being able to click to X on anything you've chosen her to do. As well as that you could also make it a rule that when she goes to do something on her own you also can't click no on doing that eye object it would be very interesting with children to see how they turn out if you could get a parent to scold them but you couldn't click on them to not make a mess yourself we're just adding in a kitchen here with a smoke alarm and I do believe I end up adding in a couple of counters although I was quite disappointed because I put the fireplace up way higher than I expected to have. All part of the challenge, I suppose, making things a bit more interesting. 
Um, I did go to move the smoke alarm out of instinct and then realised I couldn't and put it back where it was. So I didn't feel like there was enough counter space and there was absolutely nowhere to put my dining room inside. So I decided to add this back patio on as if it's also part of the kitchen. So there'll be some nice counters out there to sort of help make sure that she can do everything she wants to do in this and oh, I was so disappointed in myself I completely forgot to change the color of it and it ended up blue and I don't normally use blue I guess it looks all right for the outside but I did really want to change the colors of those counters but I don't change them I do leave them the way they are now I'm trying to find a nice little fence to go out here to give it a bit more character and I think I do like the way it ends up looking in the end I put the kitchen sink outside as well so I'm just adding in a little bit into the living room and I'm doing really well for money at this point. So I start splashing out and doing a little bit more. This house is a single starter home which I do quite often. Very often my builds are single starter homes so they're under 20,000 uh, is what I normally go for. Every now and again I've tried the 10k starter home um, but... I really liked the way a couple of my houses have turned out from the starter home. So I'm just adding in a TV here to give the house a little bit more character. Putting one up on the wall and I'm about to add in a rug. Which I accidentally get outside and do try and wish I could fix it once I realised that I had put it outside. But um, there's nothing I can do about it, so I kind of have to leave it like that. And it's alright because the bushes block it and there's nothing I really need to change that much. So we're coming up to the end of this build. All I really do now is put in some potted plants to give the house a little bit more character. If I could change this, I don't think I would ever do this challenge again. It's the kind of challenge that you get better at each time you do it. So the first time is the best example about how hard it is and how difficult it is to actually do a house without being able to change anything after you've put it together. But I did like the way it turned out and I thought it looked nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!